Start with thoughts of goodwill. Tell yourself, may I be truly happy? And then when you can think of your own true happiness, it's a lot easier to think of the ha true happiness of others. Because true happiness doesn't need to take anything away from anyone else. So your true happiness doesn't have to conflict with anyone else's true happiness. That's something we all have in common. So think of our commonality. Everybody wants happiness, and everybody wants it to be true. But a lot of people have strange ideas about what true happiness might be. But the basic intention is always there. So try to get in line with that intention for yourself. And then think about it. If you want to be happy, your happiness can't depend on harming others. Because if it harms others, they're not going to stand for it. Because they want happiness too. They don't want to be harmed. It's because having goodwill for ourselves that we can then have goodwill for others and live with others. Without goodwill, it's very hard for people to get along. Everything becomes a telling of the scores. This person did that, that person did this. And the mind gets consumed with who's right and who's wrong. We have to accept the fact that we've all made mistakes in the past. We've all done some good things in the past. If we didn't have that mixture of good and bad karma, we wouldn't be here in the human realm. So just as we want other people to forgive us for our mistakes, we should forgive others of their mistakes. Then focus on what we can do to make ourselves better. That's where the real focus should be. All too often our idea is to straighten other people out. They should be this way, they should be that way. But if you're not straightened out, how can you really straighten out anybody else? It's as if you're leaning to the left and you want everybody to look straight in your eyes. Well, that would mean everybody had to lean to the left, too. So first look at yourself. See what needs to be done, what needs to be corrected inside. In terms of generosity, in terms of virtue, in terms of getting the mind concentrated. And there's work to be done. Okay, you do the work inside. That's how you show genuine goodwill for yourself. You're working on the causes of true happiness. And when you're doing that, you don't have time to think about tallying up the scores of other people. Because your focus is where it belongs, on cleaning up your own act inside. As John Sawat used to say, each of us has only one person, i.e. ourselves. The one person we're responsible for. It doesn't mean that we don't care about others, it's just that we care about ourselves in the right way, and that's going to send a good influence to other people too. There's another time when you saw this logo they have in Thailand. They take the words, don't be self-centered, and they put them in the shape of a Buddha. And he says, that's wrong. The Buddha teaches us to be self-centered. We have to be centered in ourselves because that's where our real attention has to stay. We have to be centered on what we're doing, so we can do it responsibly. And when we're centered that way, then it's a lot easier to spread goodwill in all directions, because we're showing goodwill for ourselves, and we're seeing the benefits of that goodwill. You look around and there's no reason why you'd want to have ill will for anybody. So the work has to start inside. Focus on what you're doing wrong right now. Make it better. And the goodwill that you have for yourself will then spread around, turn into goodwill for everybody all over. <laughs>